What's going on guys, Blinkfro here, and today I'm bringing you another episode of my Hornets Association. In our last episode, we lost against the Chicago Bulls, and what I'm doing in this episode is I'm just going to be updating you on what's going on around the league. I think every other episode is going to be like this, because I'm going to be simulating most of the season. So you got Bucks Ilyasova, he wants to test the free agency this summer. No one really cares too much, because Ilyasova is not even a star player. Um, the Spurs are looking to trade Tony Parker. Uh, Cleveland's looking to trade Antoine Jameson. Rashard Lewis might, you know, go separate ways with Washington. Blah, 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 blah. Terrico White signs with the Kings. And, yeah, so this is just the early season stuff, just the early headlines. And you're going to see so far... I, I keep forgetting NBA.com's uh, on the top. You're going to see so far nothing really happened. Uh, I guess... I don't know. Does this mean that they re-signed these players at a different, uh, like, uh, with a different contract? But you're going to see the only thing, the only notable thing is the King signed Terrico White. And uh, injury report so far, it's only been like a day, so no one's even injured in the NBA. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to hire staff because I forgot to do this earlier. Uh, we're just going to hire two scouts with A potential, just give them like three years or something like that. Um, I don't know how, how far I'm going to get into this association. Hopefully a couple years in because it would be nice. And you always want to sign, like, I don't know what the potential really means. I don't know if they ever actually increase over time. But I just signed, uh, I'll always sign anyone with A potential anyways. And there we go, finally we find a scout with A and A. So we're going to go to scouting, uh, NBA scouting. And I did this before, uh, but then I actually started over a new association. I forget what the reason behind it was. I think it's because I just got rid of DeWan Summers and uh, Trey Johnson. But we're going to go ahead and scout some players from the other teams. Uh, poten potential targets, um, I forget who exactly I did last time. But a lot of people want me to get Jeremy Lin, which I'm actually pretty upset about because they updated the rosters this morning. Jeremy Lin's like a 70-something now, or 60, I think it's like a 69 or 68. Um, or it's in the 70s, I can't, no, it's like 68. And then they also updated Gravis Vasquez and Jarrett Jack, and they're like a whole 10 points higher than what they are currently in my association. So I was considering restarting my association, but then I decided, like, whatever. Like, I don't want to screw things up. Um, so we're just going to leave it be. My team's going to suck more than they actually should. Because uh, if you guys remember, I was complaining Jarrett Jack and Gravis Vasquez are way, like, underrated in this game. And finally, they go ahead and uh, bump up their stats, which I'm happy about. So Von Wafer, I'm going to go ahead and scout. So we got Von Wafer, Jeremy Lin. I don't think there was anyone really on the Mavericks. I was thinking about Bobois, but he's a little too... Uh, he's probably going to be impossible to get. I don't think there was really anyone on the Nets, which, by the way, they signed Keith Bogans, and like a week later, he got injured, and he's out for the season, which is kind of hilarious, uh, but it sucks a lot for him. I can't exactly remember all the other players that I wanted. I think I kind of wanted Ben Wallace, but I don't need him for any reason. There was no one on the Raptors. Oh yeah, Johnny Flynn I wanted, of course. Hashim Thabit, maybe. Uh, we can scout four more people. So no one on the Spurs. Uh, maybe he can work, but we don't need a power forward. Uh, there's no one on the Thunder. I think there was someone on the Timberwolves that I wanted. Um, maybe Anthony Randolph, but we don't need him either. Milchik, we don't really need. Um... Let me just go through this real quick, because there was, like, more than a handful of players that I wanted, and I ran out of scouting things the last time I did it. I don't want to look at the free agency. Um, a lot of people want me to get Lou Williams, but I think he's too high overall, so I'm going to wind up paying way too much for him. Um, no one really on the Bobcats. No one on the Bucks. There's got to be... There had to have been someone. Um, I'm definitely missing someone, because I can't remember who it was. There was like a ton of players. Oh yeah, um, Eric Bledsoe maybe, improve our point guard position. Um, t -t -t nobody, uh, maybe OJ Mayo, but I, I, I want to keep Eric Gordon, so there's no sense there. Uh, no one on the Hawks, no one on the Heat, I don't believe. Wow, that's, I, I swore there were more players. I'll go ahead and scout some more later. And then we can look at the prospects, so you got Austin Rivers, Harrison Barnes, Jared Sullinger, um, and a couple other guys. So we're going to go ahead and scout Austin Rivers because I need a point guard. Uh, we're also going to scout Harrison Barnes because I need a small forward. 
um, in case we do something with Trevor Reza. And then we're going to go ahead and scout Andre Drummond because I'm probably going to go ahead and, oh, of course, someone is already assigned to someone. We're probably going to go ahead and trade away one of our big men. So we're going to go ahead and sim up to this Clippers game, which is the next game I'm going to be showing you. And real quick, which games on here would you like to see? Um, or maybe I should just simulate until this Clippers game. So it's like Chris Paul's first game back in New Orleans. And then I'll show like uh, another. Yeah, I think that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to simulate all the way to December. I know it's like a lot, but um, it would be nice to have Chris Paul at home versus the Hornets. Um, no, but we already played a home game. Now we'll just simulate to this one. Um, no biggie. So we're going to simulate all these games. Chris Kamen's probably going to wind up getting injured. Joe Kim Noah, Kyle Korver for Eric Gordon and Chris Kamen. No, thank you. That is not a good trade in my... No, I, I meant... I didn't mean negotiate. So we're going to keep simming. We haven't won a game so far. We beat the Spurs. We beat the Rockets. We beat the Suns. And the Magic. Wow, okay. So somehow we're 4-6. and six. That doesn't really make sense. So we're going to go ahead and take a look at the injury report. I don't believe anyone, like I said, I keep forgetting NBA.com is on the top. Uh, no one on our team is actually injured so far, so we're good. If you go over to the Hornets, yeah, see, we're still good. See if there's any notable injuries all around the league. Jared Dudley, um, Jeremy Evans, yeah, Jeremy Evans. Grant Hill, Kobe Bryant, is there anyone on the Clippers? No, Clippers are pretty healthy, so we get to go against Chris Paul. Because uh, last time, uh, when I tried doing this game, it uh, Chris Paul was out, and it was kind of disappointing. So we're going to go ahead and take a look at the transactions, see if anything happened around the league so far. And uh, <laughs> the Suns already fired their head coach, I guess, because we beat them. They're like, wow, we really, we really shouldn't have lost to the uh, Hornets. What? How does this happen? They fire Alvin Gentry. They hire Jerry Aldridge. Three days later, they they changed their mind. They're like, oh, just kidding. We still want you back. Th this is what I don't understand about uh, 2K at all. I think Joey Graham, was he already on the Mavericks? Manny Harris, I feel like he was already on the Cavaliers. I'm probably really wrong. Uh, but once again, nothing really notable around the league. We're going to take a look at the rumor report, uh, rumor mill. Um, nothing really important right here. Um, nothing really interesting us and real quick we're gonna go ahead and well before I get into that we'll show the players of the week so you got Durant Westbrook and Ginobili and then Wade LeBron and Deron Williams or Darren I should say not Deron I hate when people call him Deron because it's actually Darren and we're gonna take a look at the standings in our division and we are second to last right above the Rockets in the Southwest Division. So we gotta work on that if we plan to make the playoffs. Oh, and we should also take a look at the Timberwolves because we have the draft pick and of course they're in three, so we're not probably going to get a low draft pick, which is going to suck. And then the last thing I'm just gonna take a look at is the Trade Finder, because um, I really think I'm going to get rid of Okafor. All right, I forgot what I just said because I was interrupted, but we're gonna see who we can get for Okafor because I'd rather keep Cayman instead of Okafor because I don't know. I, I just feel like Cayman's a better player overall. So we're just going to take a quick look. I don't think we're not going to trade him now. I'm not trading a first round draft pick, so you can forget about that. I'm not going to pick up a big contract like Maggetti, although it's lower than Okafor's, but we don't even need a small forward. Not picking. I'm not trading a first, not trading a first. We're not trading a first. Jason Thompson, no thank you. Uh, he is a good player, but they only have him at C plus potential. Don't really want him. We could swap picks, but... Uh, Tyson Chandler, four years at 58 million. No thank you. And uh, why would I want Tyson Chandler back to the Hornets? I mean, he's a good player. Luke Walton's contract's insane. Not trading at first. Do, 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 do. Gustavo Aon, I'm not trading. It's Aon. I keep saying Aon. Um, another trade that's just stupid. I'm not picking up two big contracts. This one makes sense. This one I could do. Um, which I might actually go back to. This is a really good trade. We got Hashim Thabit, who we can develop later on. And then we only have one year with Samuel D'Alembert, who we're going to probably just release after the season or even sign him for a lower contract after. So this is a real solid trade. I think this one I might do. Um, not now, though. If you guys like this trade, tell me in the comments below. I think this is a solid trade. I can always go back and do it because I'm sure they'll keep uh, offering it to me. Um, Marco Bellinelli for two good players, but their contracts are insane. I'm not picking up Kendrick Perkins, no way. Uh, this one, I'm not picking up Milchick's big contract, and he's only got D potential. 
Um, Marcus Camby, maybe. That's a pretty decent trade, but uh, Craig Smith is not that good, and it's only D-plus overall. And hell no, I'm not getting David Lee's $68 million contract who was overpaid. So I think that Rockets trade is a good one. And then one of the players, uh, you know, we're going to see who we can get or what we'd have to give up for Jeremy Lin. Uh, why did I go to the Lakers? Um, Jeremy Lin, it's probably next to nothing. Um, yeah, okay. Well, these, I'm not giving up Ion for him. How about if I did Jeremy Lin and... If I did Jeremy Lin and Baron Davis, what could I get? See, I'm not trading Omega Okafor. I'm not trading Eric Gordon. I'm not trading Kamen. So all of these kind of suck. And we'll see who we can get just for Baron Davis. I'm not trading Eric Gordon. I'm not trading Okafor. Yeah, these these are all horrible trades. Like, they just want to get rid of um, Chandler's huge contract. And the other player we're going to take a quick look at before we end this video, Johnny Flynn. Yeah, like I said, I'm not, not Eric Gordon. They All they want is Eric Gordon. And no way I'm giving them two first-round draft picks. So I don't think Johnny Flynn's going to be a possible uh, person to trade for. I think it's this A potential who makes him way too good. Maybe we'll toy around with the uh, the manual trades where I put in the chips and, you know, all that stuff. And I guess one last thing to look at is our... Oh, I forgot to do this. Uh, yes, I forgot. All right, so... Uh, real quick before <laughs> I keep saying real quick and I keep thinking we don't end the video We're gonna look at the player stats for the Hornets Eric Gordon's averaging 19 points Jared Jacks 14.6 uh, We need help in the de assist department because this is kind of embarrassing losing Chris Paul who averaged nearly 10 a game That's really bad our steals per game are pretty good with these three players um, And we'll take a look at Ion 4.5 points per game three rebounds per game Which is pretty good considering he's only given nine minutes per game so he's pretty efficient there. Um, we'll see who has the best field goal percentage. Of course, it's the big men. And we'll scroll down. And Gravis Vasquez is horrible. Xavier Henry's horrible. Alfred Aminu. Like, if you're under 400, this is not good. Jared Jack, no. Omeka Okafor. I don't understand how Omeka Okafor is only shooting 33% from the field. Uh, he's a center. How many shots has he taken? 40? That's, that's stupid. They should be giving him more shots. Um, but since the... Uh, what was I going to say? I feel like there's a lot of background noise going on right now. Uh, since the D-League season has actually just started, we're going to go ahead and send down Gravis Vasquez uh, just to help him develop a little bit. Because um, if you saw, his field goal percentage was pretty bad. I can't. All right, I need to sign someone first, which is what I was planning on doing anyways. Uh, so the player that I'm going to sign obviously is going to be a point guard. I was thinking about getting Earl Boykins, uh, but I wasn't too sure because he would be an upgrade from Jarrett Jack, and that would automatically make it bad. Then I was also thinking about Antonio Daniels, who used to play for the Hornets, Sharon Collins, or Sharon, I don't know if it's Sharon or Sharon. And I think uh, I always wanted to get uh, Antonio Daniels, but now that I think about it, I actually want Earl Boykins. I think we're going to scout these two players real quick because um, I want to see who has the better passing because that's what we really need. I really want to get Earl Boykins because I don't know if you guys know this, but Earl Boykins is the man. If I, I wish I could just uh, sort these by overall. Um, so we're going to take a look at Earl Boykins, who has a 74 pass. Okay, so once again I got interrupted. I don't know where I'm going to cut this, but I don't know if I mentioned this. Earl Boykins has 74 pass, 79 mid-range, 82 three-point, and then we're going to scroll down to Antonio Daniels, who I already had highlighted, I believe. He's got a higher pass, but his shooting is worse, and I think we really need shooting on the team. So we're going to go ahead and sign Earl Boykins. So there we go. We got Earl Boykins. He wants $4.76 million. We're going to lower that a little bit, and he's still going to take it. Oh, no, that's because he wants to be a starter. He's going to be a role player. Um, we're going to increase that a little bit. I think if we give him the player option here, it'll go up higher, actually. So we're going to scroll down, lower this a little bit more. And yeah, we can get them for a lot cheaper. Yeah, oh god, yeah. So $3.26 million. He accepts the offer. We're going to uh, let the computer change the rotation. And we're going to send Gravis Vasquez down to the D-League. And then we're going to go ahead and let the computer do the rotation again. And this is why I can't record during the day, because I always get interrupted. But we got Earl Boykins, number 11. Let's see how he looks in a Hornets uniform. He probably looks really good. <laughs> the 5'6 guard. 
our old Boykin signing with the New Orleans Hornets. And then we're going to go ahead and manually change the uh, the minutes later because they probably have Earl Boykins. Oh, no, good. They do have him as a role player. Hopefully he doesn't want more minutes. Um, I'll probably give him a little bit more. Uh, but that's going to wrap this video. I think I showed everything that I wanted to show. If there's anything else that you guys want me to show for the next one, let me know in the comments below. And as always, thanks for watching and tune in next time.